This is Isabel. She was born in London and with cystic fibrosis. At age 15, she needed a double lung transplant. There were complications. She contracted an infection and her liver began to fail. She was given less than a 1% chance of survival. Because the infection in Isabel's body resisted every antibiotic her doctors gave her, Isabel's mom began searching for an alternate treatment, a new treatment. And what she found was phage therapy and the HEPA lab on the campus of the University of Pittsburgh. Phage therapy matches an exact bacteriophage, a virus, with a specific bacterium to attack and kill it while ignoring the rest of the body cells. It was a hypothetical matter at that time because nobody has done that before. This would be an, a completely new and rather um, uh, uh, scary in some ways uh, uh, intervention to, to move to try to do that. On the other hand, we also appreciated that Isabel was out of options. But the key to making this revolutionary and forward-thinking treatment work would be finding that exact match and with Professor Graham Hatful, who has dedicated his 30-year career to studying and collecting bacteriophages. He's become the conductor of a symphony of scientists, researchers, and technicians across 150 institutions with a model to inspire and empower more than 5,000 young diverse scientists from New Zealand to Nigeria. And in doing this, science for the sake of science, his team has amassed the largest collection of phages in the world. So with time running out for Isabel, Professor Happel and his team sorted through and experimented with the 15,000 phages in their collection to identify and genetically modify a cocktail of three phages to attack Isabel's exact infection. And as physicians in London administered the treatment, Professor Happel and his team, an ocean away, waited. Within weeks, Isabel's body started to heal. And while she is not fully cured, the infection is under control. Isabel is back in school, learning to drive, and living the life of a normal teenager. Very few people in the world work on these particular types of phages. I'm not sure that there was anybody else in the world that could have done, and so that feels very special that this team of people was able to put that together. This was the first time bacteriophages were used to treat a mycobacteria infection and the first use of engineered phages. Researchers hope that this is a transformative moment, one that could become life-altering and life-saving for the millions of people around the world who contract antibiotic-resistant infections each year. And it is why researchers, physicians, and patients across the globe are now reaching out to the University of Pittsburgh. Because of the work and vision of these pioneers, thinkers, disruptors, and champions, there is nowhere else on the planet where this could have happened.